Hey you guys, I'm back with another video. I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this look. So if you would like to learn how to achieve a look like this, then continue to watch this video. So right here, I'm just separating the hair into four sections. And it's important to do this, especially if you're new, so that you don't go over one side or take more hair than you need. Okay, so this is in real time and I'm going to two strand twist the first two and use that as my anchor and right now I'm using a roll motion to tighten every lock before I put it in and I'm going to do a crisscross pattern which uh, with every lock so you see me go around the piece that I'm holding with the lock I do that sometimes just to ensure that I'm creating a nice neat barrel going into the barrel bun. So if you guys ever attempted this um, style before or you know tried to do this on somebody and it's kind of looking flat or it looks like it's just not forming the way you want to then you may need to incorporate this you know like I said the extra wrap around and it'll get you know nice and neat you guys. to add if you see that I chose one side twice or whatever like just ignore that keep in mind that you want to um, crisscross the sides <laughs> if I did it then it was honestly by accident so I just want to um, put a little tip in so as you can see even though she has a fresh retwist I continue to tighten the roots and then pull it. This is because like sometimes it's just like based on wherever you retwist it. If you're retwisting down and sometimes when you pull over the lock to like the left or up or to whatever you're doing with the lock, it'll like kind of undo at the roots. And this is why sometimes you'll see a post on Instagram and some of our posts looks very neat and then some people when they style it looks like they never even got a, a retwist they like fresh retwist wear <laughs> and that is because they do not tighten the retwist before they style the hair so you guys if you want to look like style like a professional you are going to tighten the retwist before you style the hair okay so if you made it this far into the video, I just want to really quickly add in that I appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you find it helpful, then please take the time out right now to subscribe to my channel. There will be more helpful videos like this to come. Alright, you guys, back to the video. I just wanted to make sure that you guys got this in a different angle and because since this one is directly in front of the camera I want to make sure that you were able to see this part and just see me actually finish out the lock so once you get all once you completely finish with the section you um, and you get to the last lock um, you can either wrap it around or um, wrap it around the lock and then tuck you know the lock in or you can end it off with a rubber band and to make things easier in this video i did just um do one extra wrap and then i put a rubber band on it okay To the front I am putting in my two strand twist to serve as my anchor again and then I am doing a crisscross method and grabbing the locks that is furthest away first and then grabbing the locks that is inside so you want to grab far far in and far far in and, and you want to cross each side that's what my mind is like telling itself while I'm doing this okay <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so now we are moving on to the battle part, and I will slow this part down and show you guys two different angles like I usually do. Okay, so this is the part where you want to pay attention. So after you finish wrapping around, you want to select the longest piece you can find and wrap that around. Um, once you get to the end, you want to have at least like an inch left if you can of the end or more, you know, it's up to you. But you want to have enough for you to hold and then you take uh, another long piece and you overlap it. And you're just going to do this and make sure you close any gaps um, as you go. And that's pretty much the whole ending. And you do that all, until you get all the way to the end and you tuck in any tiny pieces and you put a rubber band on it okay you guys again and then um, we will be speeding through this part shortly So now that all of our battles are completed, I am going to map out how I'm going to lay the hair for this bun. Okay, so to help me secure this bun today, I am going to use my scrunchie. Um, once I get that tight enough, I am going to tuck in each of the barrels into the scrunchie. And um, after that, I'll be pinning it down. <laughs> So the goal is always to, you know, cover up the rubber band as much as you can. As far as my eyes can see, I covered the rubber band. Now, of course, watching this video, I can see a little piece of the rubber band, but you guys, what can I do? That's why it's always important to make sure your hair pins and your scrunchies and anything that you use on the hair matches the hair color. To finish up this style, I am going to lay her edges, give her some oil spray, and yeah, after that comes the big reveal. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning into another video if you like this video or like this style please don't forget to leave a like and a comment in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe bye